Alright guys, it's done. Well, that was a lot of hours. Took the whole thing apart, piece by piece. Cleaned every single gear, every single bolt, every everything. Painted everything. Um, so everything works. You know, like I said, placed the bearings in the motor, start capacitor, took this thing apart, soaked in vinegar. Um, Alright, let's see this thing go. Cover's back on. Watch this. I'll show you the whole thing. Cover's on. This thing is, is missing like a the latch right here, so I'm gonna figure out where I can, I can get one like online, I guess, but it doesn't seem like it'd be right for that. So I gotta figure that out, maybe design, make something. Um, also want to maybe design a holder for this wrench somewhere. Um, all right, let's fire this up. So the Ford it has Ford Reverse, um, which this thing actually kind of looks like it's pretty almost done, you know, like the Ford. Um, all right, so let's go. It's very quiet when you don't have the gears engaged, and the gears are ridiculously loud in this thing. It's complaining about everybody complains about them, so. Um, Alright, everything works. Reverse works. Alright, back gears work. I think I, I think I showed you this earlier in the thing. The back gears work. Um, Alright, let's see the gear train. Um, actually, I put the gear in. Okay, I'll put some there. Alright, um. See how loud that is? Um, I'm obviously, I designed 3D printers, so I have a ton of 3D printers. Um, so I might, um, design some new gears for this thing. Actually, I'd like to design herringbone gears. Um, or some kind of the angled cut. The flat cut gears are super noisy. So, yeah, those things are just crazy. Um, Alright, but everything works. Let's do it again. Loud. All right. Um. That our gear. So, yeah. Uh. Now I gotta start cutting some chips on this. So I'm gonna get a uh, one of those AXA quick, uh, quick uh, tool change, cool tool, tool post change, or whatever. Quick change tool post. So I'm gonna go to those. Seen one like a kit on it on eBay for like 105 bucks plus shipping. Um. It comes like the holder, like the the, the post and a bunch of holders. But like I um. I 3D printed a bunch of container storages for this thing. Um, you know, just stuff that I got. 5C collets. I mean, a lot of the stuff that just came with it. Alright, so, and spare parts down below. And then on this side, I'm just kind of, I'm keeping like spare uh, scrap material. And uh, so I gotta find a new home for this. I gotta clean, arrange my garage to fit this in here. But, um, all right, so this is my first, this is not a commercial lathe, this is more like a home shop type lathe, you know, it's not like a, like a Le Bond or something like that, Le Bond or something, or like, what's the other one called, like the 10 Heavy, I forget the name, like a Monarch or something, Monarch 10 Heavy, um, but yeah, this is cool, good for me for what I'm doing, I'm just kind of playing around, so yeah, I'm actually using the uh, air compressor oil, 30 weight non-detergent. I want the uh, oil to get out of there. I mean, eventually, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the, the whole belt change thing is kind of annoying. My little mini lathe, I had like a, a um, adjustable, so I could adjust the, the RPM. But, um, um, so yeah, oh yeah, I have a, I got a, a light that I got to find a way to put on here. I think I'm going to have it right here somewhere. Um, I, also, I can't put like, I can't just use a clip. I'm going to have it. I'm going to design a mount for it. So I was either going to put it here, but I think it probably makes more sense. It's a magnified light, 5X magnifier with the light. Um, but I was thinking I was going to put it somewhere, maybe like over here. That way, it's right, no matter where I'm always, it's always on the cutting face. So if it moves with, with, the, with, with the, con, what's it called, the slide, 
the, what's that called? The, the, I forget all the names, the term, terminology for this stuff. I know this is the apron, the uh, saddle. Uh, it, it will follow the saddle, so it's going to follow the cutting head. Whereas if I actually put it over here, it's only going to put light and magnification over here. But if I do here, I can follow it as it's going, going up and down. All right, cool. Uh, I don't think I'm going to film a video about that. And that's just a matter of getting a... Uh, I, I have to, I'm going to cut this clip off here and like put a permanent mount in here. And then I'm actually going to probably put an outlet right here. Um, or some kind of USB way to feed this thing USB power. Maybe print a box out or something. You know, a 110 to USB converter. I might just put like a regular outlet in there. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um... All right, this is cool. So it was like 600 bucks. I mean, it was uh, $12 for the bearings, about $8 for the start capacitor, so I have about 25 in that stuff for the motor. Um, I probably have about, with cleaners and paint, probably um, 50 bucks maybe. Maybe 60, 60 with the paint. I think I have like four or five cans of paint, $8 each, and then, yeah, I, I have maybe 60. 16 paint and cleaners and obviously I probably have about 40 hours into this probably at least you know weekends just a few hours every day every night just ultrasonic cleaning parts scrubbing them down yeah you saw it when man like none of the, all the oilers were clogged it was you know I mean the, I don't think it was used very much because like I said the, the lead screw and all this stuff was in, was in perfect shape um, you know it just uh, I think he the, he used the wrong kind of oil, or just, you know, like I said, it probably hadn't been rebuilt in 50 years. It had been rebuilt at some point, but, you know, who knows. But, all right, cool, plot for upscore, you know. Um, I'm glad, I mean, I wanted something that was more rigid, so I could cut, you know, actually, like, better threads and real parts. Um, all right, guys, cool, having fun.